Hey guys, what's up? It's Chris back at you doing some more fish aquarium related videos. I come in peace. Today is actually a viewer submission. And if you guys are ever trying to send me viewer submission questions, go to palmeraquatics.com and click the viewer submission tab. It's really easy. Or you can hit me up on Facebook, however you want to ask me questions. I get so many questions and I absolutely love it. So don't fear of asking me questions. Today's viewer submission is a good one. It was Chris. Can I keep African cichlids with blood parrots? That's a very good question. Blood parrots are super popular and let's talk about this. Let's first start by talking about the blood parrot cichlid. This is a Central American cichlid. A lot of people look down on this cichlid because it's man-made and it's not found in mother nature as a natural form. But like I was saying, I'm for all kinds of fish. This is a cool looking fish. It has bright colorations. It's super popular. Uh, some people might say, oh, it's, it's a beginner fish or girls only like these fish. But man, it's a cool looking fish with a ton of personality. When talking about keeping blood parrot cichlids with African cichlids, you're probably quickly going to be shunned for even asking this question. It's kind of a general rule of thumb in our industry that you can't keep anything with African cichlids except other African cichlids. And the reason is because African cichlids are psychopaths and uh, you can't keep a lot of fish with Africans except other Africans. I find that most people in this hobby either hate African cichlids or they love African cichlids. And if you want my personal opinion, I'm not a huge fan of them just because I feel like that's all they care about is breeding, killing, and just that's it, literally. Like they are just trying to be the, the king of the mountain and win over the female and just breed effectively and they will continuously fight to the death. And I get sick of this because I don't like dead fish. Uh, I also find that they don't have as much personality as like a lot of the American cichlids and I might I might get some a bad time for this but I just feel like they have less personality than American cichlids. All right, so I'll backtrack a little bit. African cichlids can be cool and I can appreciate them, but only in the manner of when you keep a single species, you know, like it's only African cichlids per tank. I find that I like Central American, you know, just American cichlids in general the most because they have so much personality and you know when when trying to find good tank mates for blood parrot cichlids there's a handful of them and i have a bunch of videos on them but for the most part some quick ones that come to mind are probably the best tank mate of all for blood parrots is more blood parrots because they absolutely adore being kept together their boisterous personalities really kind of mix with each other and uh they're just they do so well together and I'll also throw a link in the description box. I literally just did a video on the top five tank mates for red blood parrot cichlids. Or not red blood parrots, but just blood parrot cichlids in general. Because yes, there are different colors now. I've been doing videos for years now on fish and I look back and I see all the different types of tank mates that I've kept with blood parrots and it's crazy. I've kept them with green terror cichlids, I've kept them with jaguar cichlids, I've kept them with, uh, oh one of my favorites guys, the severum cichlid. The severum cichlid is like a, a perfect buffering fish to keep with so many fish. When you're trying to figure out what fish to keep in fish tanks together, usually what you have to do is categorize them by what type of fish they are. Like I've been saying, African cichlids have to be kept with African cichlids. Uh, Central Americans should be kept with Central Americans. Uh, Americans, you know, there's just like, that's usually how it works in the freshwater aquarium scene like this. All right, guys, hopefully this video was of some help to you. If you have any more questions on red blood parrots, you can just do a search in YouTube and literally a bunch of my videos come up or you can visit my my regular channel, Palmer Aquatics. You can head on over to palmeraquatics.com. You can add me on Facebook. I'm literally really easy to find. You can also email me at palmeraquatics at gmail.com if you have any questions. You can also join some of my Facebook groups. We have Oscar Fish Keepers with 50,000 members. We have Beta Fish Keepers. We have 100,000 members. Goldfish Keepers, we have, I believe, uh, 80,000 members. Guys, this literally is all I eat, breathe, and sleep is fish tanks. So if you guys have any questions, don't feel bad asking. Hit up the comment section. Make sure to like this video and subscribe because, uh, guys, this is, this is what I love to do. 
So yeah, to sum this up, do not keep African cichlids with blood parrot cichlids. It's just a bad idea. If you're looking for tank mate ideas, I'll throw a link in the description box to my latest video on the top five best tank mates to keep with blood parrot cichlids. These fish are really laid back actually and have uh, great personalities for tank mates. All right, guys. Thank you. Whoop, whoop.